I'm going to fire up my Windows 7 machine, and I'm going to set the forwarder up. So I'm turning on my Windows 7 machine. Let's jump back to here, and let's go through these steps. I'm going to click here on the uh, three menu bar, a.k.a. the hamburger. I'm going to click Data, and now under Data, it says click Data Receiving. Okay, no problem. I'll click Data Receiving. So now that I've clicked Data Receiving, you see how it tells me Configure Receiving, I'm going to click Add New. This is so super easy because when I click the Add New, all you need to do is take the default. So he's like, hey, you need to configure a listening port, right? Put in 9997. So easy. 9997. Take the default, click Save. So I got that done. This is perfect. So I'm going to go back to data, then this time I'm going to click indexes, and I'm going to create a new index. And the new index I'm going to create is going to be called win event log. Throw it right in here. There's no other options I need to do. I just save it, and I'm done. You see win event log down here at the bottom. It's one meg right now, and there's no events in it. You see that? So there's nothing being sent to it yet. Okay, so we'll open it up. Remember what I was talking about? The Splunk forwarder is unbelievable. Watch this. I'm going to click Run. Okay, so this is not a Splunk cloud, so I leave this check, and I'll watch. I'm going to click Next. All he wants is the public IP for the box, right? I'm going to put in my IP address, 45. Dot sixty three dot sixty six dot one four nine and then you see right here how it always says hey the default port is eight zero eight nine if you remember all that Linux stuff that we did earlier management port eight zero eight nine right app server right eight zero six five KV store 8191. Okay, so I just put in the IP address, and then I put in the port. Just read the numbers right here, okay? This is the IP address of your Linux server. Next screen, literally paste it in again, and then read the port, 997. That's the one we configured. Click Next, click Install, and like, for real, for real, you are done. Like, that's it. We're done. Say yes and kick back, bro. That's it. I click finish. I'm done. Right? The endpoint is now configured. I don't need to restart any services. I don't need to do any of that stuff. Bam. See it? He already set it up. You already started it. See the service is set as started. It's all done. It's all done, bro. You're done. But you'll see the host win seven. You'll see him down in there. I'll show you a quick thing that you can do. You can come down here and you can click on indexes. And then when you look down in your index, what do you notice? I have events now. Remember, this was zero and it's showing that the events came in as recently as three minutes ago. So it's coming. It's going to show up.